Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to add darts and create style lines on your design. Adding darts is the easiest way to create a shape and fit of a garment, especially when you are working with a non-stretch woven fabric for a fitted style. Here is a top I made with linen fabric. As you can see, it has a lot of extra material around the waist and some around the armholes. To make it a more fitted style garment, first I will have to add darts around the waistline. To do so, I will need to use add point, split line from the 2D toolbar to add a point. This point will be the center of your dart. Use edit pattern tool, right click on this point, select add dart in the pop-up window. You can enter the dart width and length, then click OK. A message will appear saying you can click and drag a curve point to smooth pattern outline of folded dart. Usually I just use the curve line that Clo generate for me, and just click enter to complete. If you are using Mac, click return to complete the dart. Once you do that, the dart will be created and pre-sewn in both 2D and 3D windows. Let me add a dart on the front armhole as well. You can change the angle of the dart by dragging the dart point. However, if you do that, you will need to adjust the dart leg's length manually to make it even. Every dart you create will show a center dart and dart width lines. You can use trace tool to click those lines and hit delete to remove them. You can also rotate a dart to a different segment line. Let's say if I prefer to have a breast dart instead of armhole dart. I can use edit pattern tool and right click on the armhole dart and select rotate dart in the pop-up window. Then click and add a point to the segment line you want to rotate the dart to. A guide line will appear from the new point to the dart point. Click on the section you want to rotate and move to close the original dart and click again. The yellow dart legs lines will appear from the new dart location. You can slide the yellow lines along the guide line to the length you want. Or you can slide to the gray point that is showing on the guide line which would be the same length as your original dart. Then click again to finish. And I have rotated the dart from armhole to the breast. Let me give you another example on rotating darts. Let's make a French dart on the top. First, I will get rid of the breast dart. Use edit pattern tool to right click on the dart and choose rotate dart. Then click the waist dart point and the guideline will appear. Click on the section to rotate and close the breast dart then click again. The yellow dart legs lines will appear. Slide all the way to the gray point and click again to end. To make the French dart. Use edit pattern to right click on the waist dart legs. Add the new point to the side seam and waistline to activate the guideline. Select the section you want to rotate, move and close the waist dart and click again. Slide the yellow dart legs lines to the gray point and click to finish. And there you go, I created a French dart. Once you have a dart, you can easily make a princess scene. Add a point on the armhole. Create an internal line from the armhole to the dart. Use edit curvature from the toolbar, drag the internal line to the idea curve shape. Then use edit pattern tool right click on the line and choose cut and sew. Princess seam will be formed. To make it a nice smooth seam. I will use smooth curve to round the sharp point area on both seams. Use edit pattern tool to select all the unnecessary points. Right click and convert to curve point. Then right click on each princess seam and select change length to make both lines the same length. Use edit sewing to delete all the broken section sewing lines, and use segment sewing to connect the seams back together. And there, you will have a nice and smooth princess seam. The next example, I am going to show you how to add a fisheye dart. Here is a tunic dress in linen fabric. To add the fisheye darts, go to 2D window toolbar, under internal polygon. You will see dart. Select it, and left-click inside the pattern piece. 
In this case, I want to click on the waistline, because the placement you click will be the center of UDART. Once you left click, a pop-up window will appear to let you enter left and right dart width, up and down dart height. Click OK after that, and the fisheye dart will be generate inside the pattern piece. Let me add the dart to left front bodice and both back bodice pattern as well. You can use edit pattern or transform pattern tool to select the dart and move it anywhere inside the pattern piece. You also can copy and paste to add more darts. Or use edit pattern tool to increase the dart width or length by dragging the point. Once you create the fisheye darts. You can use the same way I showed you earlier to create the princess seams. So, now you know how to add dart and rotate it, let's talk about style lines. Creating style lines is pretty easy if you are using knit fabrics. However it can be tricky when you have to deal with all the darts. Let me show you how I usually do. Here is a basic dress block I made. If you like to get this pattern, just simply take a screenshot. Import the screenshot as texture and trace it. Check out my previous video of how to use pictures to make pattern. Or just click the link at the end of this video. First, let me use internal polygon to add style lines inside the dress pattern. Get rid of the unnecessary points by right click them and convert to curve point. Then select all the internal lines, right click, and choose cut and sew. Now you can see the front bodice has broken into many pieces. It looks very busy and too many lines to sew if you have to actually manufacture this dress in real life. I usually will connect the small pieces together to get a cleaner look. Use edit pattern tool, hold shift to select the two lines, and right click to choose merge. As for the darts. My preference is to get rid of them if they are very short. Use internal polygon tool to draw a line from the dart point to the pattern outline. Right click on the line, choose cut and sew. Then you can either convert the points to curve point or just delete them. And merge the two pieces back together. Use trace tool to click on all the merge lines and hit delete key to remove them. The final step, I will reshape all the seams and make sure they are the same length. Use smooth curve tool. You can left click on a sharp point, drag it to smooth it out. Or use two points to create a new line on the section you want to change the curve. Click the original line, then select the new line. Drag it to the curve shape you want to replace the old line. After you smooth all the curve, it's time to check the length. Remember to turn on the show line length in 2D window, shortcut shift Z. Use edit curvature tool to adjust and make the seams close to the same length. Then right click on the line and select change length to enter the exact number. Simulate the garment, adjust it and check if all the seams match. The dress looks pretty good in the 3D window. It's time to add some colors. And there. I created a color blocking dress using the darts and style lines. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Please leave your comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe.